Hi class, since we finished statistics, we are going to move on to circles. We're going to do some story problems today, and we're going to work with finding um, how much to cover the inside, which is area, or to go around the circle, which is circumference. But before we can do that, we have to learn two other things about the circle first. Now, there are two parts of the circle we need to know. And the first one is called the diameter. So I have my lovely drawn circle here. That's the center. So I can have a line that goes from one side through the center to the other side. That is called the diameter. So every circle has a diameter. And every circle also has a line that comes from the center to the outside. That's called the radius. So the diameter is 2 times the radius. And the radius is half of the diameter. So if I were to tell you the diameter of the circle is 16, so the radius is 16 divided by 2, so my radius would be 8. If I told you the diameter was 20, the radius is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Now sometimes I might tell you the radius instead. So if I tell you that the radius is 5, to find the diameter, I do 5 times 2, which is 10. Or if I said the radius was 9, the diameter is 2 times the radius, so 2 times 9 is 18. The reason that that is important is because we have two formulas that we are going to use, and one of the formulas has the diameter, and one of the formulas has the radius. And sometimes you're going to have to find both the, the area and the circumference, so you'll need both numbers. So remember, diameter, double the radius. Radius is half the diameter. So the two things we're going to find today is the area and the circumference. Now we've found area before, but with squares and rectangles and triangles. And if we remember uh, correctly, the area is filling in or covering a flat shape. And this time it's going to be the circles. So Andrew, if you could move with me here, just so we remember another visual here, the area fills inside the circle. It's covering the entire inside. Where the circumference, it's like perimeter, except circles have their own special name. It's called circumference. And the circumference goes all the way around the outside. So circumference is around, area is inside. Around town. Around the town is circumference. We'll officially SpongeBob now. So some key words when we're talking circumference. Obviously what we just said, circumference goes around. Or if you think of things that go around, like usually we, we did like a fence. I don't know many fences that are circular, but hey, my grandpa used to put them around tomato plants. So you can have a, a fence that goes around in a circle. Or you can have crust on a pizza or a pie. I like the pizza one better. It goes around. Hey, a ring goes around your finger. A ribbon can go around a ponytail or uh, a candle or a jar, something like that. That's circumference. And the formula for circumference is pi times diameter. Now what's this pi? Pi. Pi. It makes this funky little symbol like this. Now, mathematicians came up with pi. And what pi really is, it's that diameter. 
how many times it takes that diameter to go around the circle. So if you would pluck that out of the middle and try to paste it around, it would take 3.14 diameters to make it all the way around the circle. 3.14159 blah blah it goes on forever. We're just going to use 3.14 because it's a lot easier that way. So if I want to find the, circumfer the circumference, I'm literally going to take pi. And like I just said, I'm going to times it by the diameter. So if the diameter is 5, it would be 5, 5, 5, and whatever 5 times 0.14 is. So circumference equals pi times the diameter. You plug the numbers into the formula. You use your calculator. Done. Love it. Now, area, we got some different keywords for area. Area covers. So like if you have a round table and you have a tablecloth. So covering a circle. Or, ooh, I love covering a cake with icing. Or I like covering a pizza with cheese. Or Andrew likes the sauce. Um, so you cover the whole inside of something. Or if you're making something that's a circle. Like uh, we're going to do a problem where Rob and I want to make like a campfire. We need the whole circle to be filled with dirt to make that campfire. That is area. Or the space. If you have something that's a circle and it takes up space on a wall, that's also area. Like at school, we used to have the round clocks. Mine never worked at the old school, not for like 10 years. But it took up space on my wall. It took up an area of my wall. And there's a formula for the area. Area always equals, we need that pi again, times radius squared. Now, if you remember from, I think that we learned that the first day of school when something's squared, it means you multiply the number by itself. So I can write pi times radius squared, or to make life even easier, I'm just going to write pi times radius times radius. Now we're going to do an example where um, we're going to use both of these formulas with one thing. I love pizza. Do you guys like pizza? Yes. Yeah. I remember there was a time when you wanted me to pick all the cheese off your pizza. Saucy boy. I know you like your sauce, but um, Mrs. Hera doesn't really like pizza. Can you believe it? But hey, I love pizza. We eat it like once a week here. And if you ever notice when you call in, you'll say, give me the 14 inch. Give me the 12 inch. I want the 10 inch or Pizza Joe's has the little 7 inch. You are actually telling the um, pizza place the diameter of your pizza. All their pans are marked with the diameter. So we're going to go for it. Let's go for a big old 14 inch pizza. That's like an extra large. Yum. So if you call and you order a pizza and you order the 14 inch, that is your diameter. Now let's say he called himself a saucy boy. How much sauce and cheesy goodness is going to cover that pizza? Everything. Well, we want to cover it. So since we're going to cover the pizza, is that area or circumference? Area. Area. Good. So area, the formula is pi times radius times radius. Uh-oh, I didn't give you the radius, but I told you how to figure it out. If my diameter is 14 and my radius is half my diameter, my radius has to be 7. Then I just plug in the numbers. Area is going to equal pi is 3.14 times 7 times 7. Then I'm going to get my friend Mr. Calculator, because yes, you can use calculators again this week. Aren't I nice? 3.14 times 7 
times 7 equals 153.86 square inches. And we use the squared because it's area of saucy, cheesy, pizza-y deliciousness. But you have to share with your family, I know. So my favorite part of the pizza is the crust. I like the crust. I like to dip it in extra sauce. I like it especially when it's all puffy and chewy. And if it's covered in cheese too, love it. So same pizza. How much crust is there? Well, the crust goes around. So this time I am looking for the circumference. So circumference equals pi times diameter. Well, we have all the numbers we need. We know that pi is always 3.14. And the diameter I gave you in the problem was 14. So then again, I get my trusty calculator here. 3.14 times 14 equals 43.96 inches. Rob doesn't like the crust, so when we got married, um, he would eat the pizza part and save all his crust for me. So I guess technically I could eat 43.96 inches of pizza crust if we ate the whole pizza, which sometimes we did. All right, so that's it. You got to hear the problem, decide if it's circumference or area, and then um, use the right formula and solve it. That's all there is to it. So let's do another example. So last time my nephew was up, my nephew crew came up. It was in the summer and it was right before his birthday. So we threw him a birthday party and he doesn't want a regular cake. He loves the chocolate chip cookie cakes. So we went ahead and we ordered him a big cookie cake from Sam's Club. Let me tell you, it was the best cookie cake I've ever had had lots of chocolate chips in it so we bought him a cookie cake that had a was a diameter of 12 inches seriously within they were only here for a couple of days we ate the entire thing the whole thing god good job so if we're eating the entire cookie would that be area or circumference both no we didn't just nibble around the cookie no both because you eating the outside and the inside. but we don't need to find both because if we find the area the circumference is included in that so the entire thing means we need to find the area so we're gonna use the a formula area equals pi times radius times radius okay now I didn't give you the radius in the problem but that's okay because you know how to figure it out because the radius is half the diameter what's half of 12 6 so we're going to do A equals 3.14 times 6 times 6. So 3.14 times 6 times 6, 113.04 square inches of cookie. Yeah. Now I want a cookie cake. Okay. All right. So um, let's do a, another one. One more example. All right. Let's say we had a dog. If only we did. I know. We're working on it. We're working on it. So let's say that he he was outside. And have you ever seen a dog just run around in circles? Yeah. 
over and over and over again. Somebody had to make a meme compilation of that already. So let's say our dog, we used to have a dog that lived down the street, and they would um, put like a leash on his collar. It was a real long one, and they would put it on a line, and that dog could just run in the backyard. And I used to watch it just run in circles and circles and circles and circles and circles. It loved it. it. I used to watch it for fun. So let's say, so if this dog is running around the circle. Whee! I know that picture is great. But if it's running around and around and around, is that area or is that circumference? Circumference. It is. So let me say that the diameter of this circle was 20 feet, I'm guessing. So, as Andrew said, it is circumference. So all I have to do is pi times diameter. This is easy. I got all my information. Pi is always 3.14. Diameter, I told you, was 20. So if I multiply 3.14 times 20, That's 62.80 feet. And what if you round a, ran around it five times? If I wanted to know the total, I would just have to times that by five. Okay. One more. What? I told you we were going to do the campfire. You guys are funny. With s'mores, you like to light the marshmallows on fire and then you don't want to eat them. Yeah. You just want to eat the chocolate part. Aaron likes the marshmallows before you set it on fire, but he still wants to set the marshmallows on fire. So yeah. um, with our neighbors, we would do like a campfire. So let's say we wanted to spread the dirt out to make the campfire. So we have the campfire. And then we don't want to set the rest of our backyard on fire. So we would put rocks around the campfire to keep it contained and to also keep the kids from running into the fire. So um, let's say that our campfire, our little pit, our little campfire pit has a diameter of six feet. Okay, so we need to spread that dirt over it to get started here or when we were putting it out we put dirt all over it so we want the dirt for the fire and we want the rocks to go around so what would the dirt be if we're filling that whole circle with dirt that would be the area and the rocks going around it is our circumference. Now, I only gave, so again, for finding area, formula for area is pi times radius times radius. Well, I only told you the diameter is 6. Again, the radius is half the diameter. So diameter is 6, my radius is 3, so I'm going to do 3.14 times 3 times 3. Put my calculator somewhere, here we go. I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be 28.26. And I am correct, because I have done this problem hundreds of times in my teaching career. Now the rocks, the rocks they go around. So that is my circumference. And then the formula for circumference is just pi times diameter. Pi is always 3.14. I gave you the diameter of the campfire is 6. So 3.14 times 6, I believe is 18.86. Let me check my calculator. Oh, 84. I was wrong. 18.84. 
or that should have been feet, I'm sorry, feet of rocks. And this should have been feet too. If I had uh, inches, that would be, <laughs> woo, that would be a fun campfire. <laughs> Whoops. So that's all there is to it. Figure out if it's a round, and if it is, use circumference, which is 3.14 times the diameter. Or if it's covering, or making, or space something takes up, then it's area, which is 3.14 times radius times radius. And that's all you have to do. So the notes for all of this um, will also be on Google Classroom, so you could look at those. And we'll do some uh, problems together on Zoom tomorrow. But uh, that's all there is with circles today. So have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.